Gray's River, Wyoming. I'm about 15 miles south of Alpine, Wyoming, in the Gray's River area. This is my camp spot for the night. Those trailers are empty, nobody else around. There's a group across the road. That's about it. There's my tent all set up. Should be nice, uh, shady in the morning so I can sleep in a little bit. But absolutely beautiful, right on the water. It's a good ride up through Montpelier and then uh, just out of Montpelier you take off, you take the uh, Smith's Fork Road and that connects to the, the Grays River Road and that actually takes you all the way into Alpine and I ran in there and got some gas and ice and some beer for the night and then just turned around and rolled back out here and found this spot, it's perfect. Perfect. Ran into some three guys from Vermont that had rented uh, adventure bikes out of Salt Lake. They were on two GS 800s and one uh, 1190, just not the R. And I ran into them way down on the, the Smith's Fork Road, and they were kind of lost. He, they, I don't know if they didn't figure out they could turn their phone GPS on or whatever, but. The map they had, the paper map the guy had, I guess, blew out. So they were kind of turned around. They weren't sure where they were going. And so we kind of hooked up, and I pulled those guys all the way into Alpine. And then they decided from Alpine to go up to uh, Jackson Hole. And I, I don't know if they were going to spend the night there, but uh, they're going to go up to Jackson at least and then turn around and head south. And they actually needed to be in Salt Lake by tomorrow afternoon to turn the bikes back in and then fly back home to Vermont. But uh, that was pretty cool. Some nice guys. It was just kind of cool to run into some dudes out doing the same thing I'm doing. And uh, yeah, so it was good. So this camp spot is just exactly what I was looking for. Right on the water. And it's even got a sandy beach. Look at that, that's sand. It's perfect. This will be nice for sleeping though. Right by the water. Oh, just incredible. Whole drive up here is really, really, uh, really pretty. The only bad part is like roughly the last 30 miles into Alpine. This dirt road should be renamed the dustiest road in America. I mean, holy hell, for a guy that doesn't like to suck dust, which is me, I have sucked dust for 60 miles there and back. It is a dusty, dusty SOB, so. Anyway, 1190 did awesome, of course. I love my bags, the panniers, man, you can really load it up with a lot of stuff. You don't really notice it there. I mean, you can feel a little more weight than normal, but nothing bad. I mean, it hauls it just fine plenty of room for all my camping gear and all my stuff and then my cooler in the top back uh, top box is perfect I got a new soft cooler that holds even more so it's perfect a little bit of firewood left I got my saw with me so I'll uh, I'll get a little bit of wood put together and have a little fire and uh, climb over here and get a good night's sleep it should be awesome Gray's River South of Alpine, Wyoming.